All right, guys, KB32 here checking out. We're sitting in the Freedom Studios. Uh, before we get started on this video talking about the NRA, <laughs> I wanted to show out the Hit Arms. This is their little snap cap thing with the laser uh, pointer, and it's good help in, uh, what do we call it, dry firing. Uh, also, they got a bunch of apps that you can hook up to this thing to help monitor and track your performance and hopefully you get better at it. But anyway, link down below, hit arms. And then before we get started, uh, I do have an account over on Rumble. Yes, yesterday, everybody's like, you need to get over on Rumble. I do have an account. I'm going to go ahead and put the link down below. And what we're planning on doing is uh, because, well, firearms are pretty much a done deal over here on YouTube, but I've got on the, the table right here a couple barrels. One is from Bear Creek Arsenal. We're going to be testing that. The other one is the AR Stoner, which we're going to scope both of them, and I'm pretty sure I know where both of them are made. And then we have the Hanson Profile Premium Barrel from the guys over there at Ballistic Advantage. Uh, and we are putting these in what I call the Premium Build Series, which has been in development for a very long time. I just haven't had a chance to get around to it. I built one upper uh, complete rifle of the Premium Series with my son. And the idea is I wanted four identical rifles that kind of like my own armory kind of thing there. But so anyway, yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun with that. So let's get on with this. Mr. Connolly sent this email to me. And basically just the thought I shared this email. Considering the source, Wayne LaPierre, the say that I'm skept skeptical at best and downright unimpressed at worst would be an understatement. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, just an, an, an FYI, I, I think the NRA in, in its concept and its conception was a great organization, but over the last few years, I mean, being turned down for uh, Chapter 11 out in Texas because they're basically escaping some of the things that they did. Uh, I'm not a big fan of what has been done with the money. I'm not donating $25, $37, and I, and I sure as shit can't stand the video or, no, the calls that you get at 8 o'clock. All right, now, John, now let me tell you something. With this with this uh, membership fee, you're going to get this really cool knife that was made over in China. It's going to fall apart when you open the box. Stupid shit. Because I know that those guys are nothing but headhunters and are calling for a commission, and it absolutely sucks. Uh, yeah, the NRA has caught wind of some bad stuff in the last couple of years. And I mean, you got Hickok 45 actually dumped them and that says a lot. So with that being said, let's go ahead and read this letter from Wayne LaPierre, uh, <laughs> concerning the NRA. Dear NRA members, in my 40 years with the NRA, we've taken part in some bruising fights to defend our freedoms and our NRA. As they say, nothing worth having comes easy. And I totally get that. And I know that the NRA has been involved with some fights, but I'll be quite honest with you. Uh, the one organization that I will back wholeheartedly is Gun Owners of America. There's a couple other ones that are out there that I just, you know, we've got Virginia uh, Citizens Defense League wholeheartedly would jump on with those guys. There's a group over in New Jersey. I would do everything to back them because they are leading the fight and freedoms because if it can happen in New Jersey, it can happen anywhere. And Phil Murphy is such an anti-gun person that even the Democrats are like, can you, can you just leave it alone? Because every year, even with this new thing he's got going on, he's introducing 10 new anti-gun bills. All right, so here we go. Over the past month, we did it again. The NRA took center stage in our fight on reorganization in federal court in Dallas. All right, so let's just go ahead and continue on. Over the past month, we did it again. The NRA took center stage in the fight for our reorganization in federal court in Dallas. Although our case for reorganization was dismissed on May 11, there are many positive developments that bode well for the association as plans for the future. What? You quit spending money and going on these long-ass trips? That would be number one. Stop acting like you're the executive director for General Motors and spending money that you don't have. First and foremost, the legal decision has no impact on our staffing programs or Second Amendment advocacy. All of our work continues and remains as vital as ever. We will continue to defend the constitutional freedoms, promote firearms education, and advocate for and represent our members in all appropriate forms. Good. I'm glad you did. See, here's the whole thing. I really appreciate if an organization is out there. They're taking funds from the general public as a nonprofit, or supposedly it's supposed to be a nonprofit, and they're rolling that into uh, manning and staffing the office accordingly for those individuals who are in it for the fight. 
Now, if you're just a face for the organization and all you're doing is going in there and creating a big name for yourself, and then uh, I don't know what else this guy does. But from what I hear, it's doing a lot of travel. This outcome has no impact on all the divisions and affiliates associated with the NRA, our programs, political uh, activity, charitable endeavors, and the Second Amendment accuracies of all continue. We remain strong and secure. Outstanding. Okay. Second, the New York Attorney General, who we all cannot stand, and in and, and this I am in the fight because I think that they, had they not been caught with their pants down or their hands in the pockets of the general public, a lot of this probably wouldn't take place. But because they are a Second Amendment advocacy group, uh, the Attorney General of New York, who hates the Second Amendment, is going to go after them, and they, they give them ammunition and strength to do so. Second, the New York Attorney General and others that aligned against the NRA in opposition to the NRA's reorganization plan were unsuccessful in their effort to derail us. As you may have read, they sought to dismiss, dismiss the NRA's Chapter 11 reorganization filing with prejudice, or in alternative, or in the alternative, the appointment of a court-appointed trustee. They wanted to see someone else take control of the association's business and financial affairs. Well, no kidding. You get busted, or at least this is my conjecture. This is this is what I, my hypotheses. This is what I'm thinking is that somebody uh, who's the head of an organization, a nonprofit, and they're off gallivanting all over the place, private airplanes, boats, and houses, and things like that. Somebody's going to think not too fondly of it. <laughs> None of that happened. But the court in Dallas did not appoint a trustee or impose any other form of oversight on the NRA. Instead, the court dismissed our reorganization filing without prejudice, meaning the NRA has the option to file a new case in the future if the need arises. I hope the need doesn't arise. I hope you guys are successful. I mean, I'm not sitting here bashing the organization. I'm bashing the management because too often in the Second Amendment world, we are destroying ourselves. We're going after one another, back and forth, back and forth. I could sit here and put a video out and some asshole sit there and going, you're sick, you suck, you don't know what you're talking about. And that's the problem with people in the Second Amendment world is they sit here and try to bash one another. You got a guy who buys a Taurus and everybody supports these guys don't know what the hell they're doing, yada, yada, yada. Well, I look at it like this. The guy's out there and he's trying to participate in the freedoms and supporting the Second Amendment. Tell me I'm wrong. None of that happened, of course. Uh, there is no financial watchdog and examiner, appointee, assault by some. The enemies of the association want to claim the NRA filing was in bad faith, and the NRA should be assessed penalties. But that's not what the judge found. On May 14th, the judge clarified that he did not hold that the NRA reorganization filing was in bad faith. In summary, in summary, we are no longer in bankruptcy court in Dallas, and our mission moves forward. Great. I hope it does, and I hope it in good faith, and that the people don't get their asses busted going out to Dallas and buying, oh, I don't know, uh, J.R. Ewing's house, or needing a helicopter, or a private airplane, or a big-ass boat, because that's not what the NRA should be about. It should be about supporting the Second Amendment, supporting our uh, people, us. Uh, okay. In summer, we are no longer in bankruptcy court in Dallas. Our mission moves forward. Our, mem our leadership team remains intact. Those outcomes are far from the doom and gloom predicted by the so-called experts, many on the far left media and gun control advocates. Not just gun control advocates. Hell, I'm included. I'm not excluding myself from the whole thing. But here's the deal. Do your job. Do it well. Don't take the funds that some jackass is taking the opportunity at 8 o'clock at night calling this unsuspecting guy who's going to turn around and give him $25, and you're going to take half of it and turn around and go flying off to some bullshit opportunity. Our plans are not finalized, but we remain committed to exploring a move of all or part of the NRA's business operations to Texas, <laughs> home to more than 400,000 NRA members. They should be there, welcome you with open arms, and provide oversight so the, oh, I don't know, upper management doesn't go apeshit with the money that they've got. I think you may have learned your lesson. The record reflects committed to good governance. During a 12-day court hearing that occurred over approximately four weeks, the NRA established that it complies with board policies and accounting controls. Accounting controls. Mm. Yeah. The hearing proceedings focused 
in significant measure on the NRA's compliance efforts and the organization's, organization's renewed commitment to good governance. In an opinion dated May 11th, the Honorable Harlan D. Hale, U.S. Bankruptcy Judge, Northern District of Texas, wrote, In short, the testimony suggests that the NRA now understands the importance of compliance. Outside of bankruptcy, the NRA can pay its creditors, continue to fulfill its mission, and continue to improve its governance and internal controls, contest dissolution in the, U in the New York Attorney General enforcement action, and pursue the legal steps necessary to leave New York. Probably the best thing that could ever happen to them is get out of New York, get to Texas, get to a gun-loving state. Well, at least they are at this point in time. Confronting a political agenda and fighting for freedom, I'm not even going to get into that. That means the NRA continues to confront New York Attorney General Letitia James in her attempt to dissolve the NRA. All this happened is, Wayne, my message to you, quit giving these people from the government ammunition to use against you and the organization that once was a great advocate of the Second Amendment. Don't do anything stupid. Like I said, you and J.R. Ewing, you ain't got nothing in common. And keep it that way. It's Coda Boy 32 You let me know what your thoughts are down below. This is pretty good. Thanks, Mr. Connolly. Victor, you the man. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you guys got any good emails you want to send me, I'm traveling a lot these days. That's why you're only seeing like one or two videos coming out. Again, uh, Rumble. We got we do have a channel uh, over there, and I'm going to put the link down below. You guys go on over there because the shooting videos, I will announce when there's cool stuff over there because the Rare Breeze Trigger, that's going to be fun, especially with that KS-47. And I know it has a, um, uh, what do you call that, a brace, which they're trying to continue to get rid of. I think I'm going to shoot it from the hip. That way I'm not in violation of any rules. Coda Boy 32 if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedom's not free. I am KB32, and I've already said that a couple times. Y'all be good. Boom. Oh, thanks very much for your help uh, with Mr. Ellerby's uh, dad and uh, the funeral arrangements. For those guys that made donations to that, I really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah. We'll uh, be doing a lot of reporting from the north side of Georgia tomorrow. Tomorrow's Saturday. God, what a week. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.